Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds here. Today I want to talk to you about the false codling moth. The false codling moth is South Africa's number one fruit pest. And it's probably a pest that you haven't heard of because a lot of people um, haven't been educated about it. But if your, if your fruit is being stung on your trees, especially your stone fruits, um, a lot of people think that it's, it's, it's fruit fly, when in actual fact it's the false codling moth. Um, and if you do a bit of research on the false codling moth, you'll understand how, how persistent and invasive this pest is. So we use a trap, and this is a delta trap. It's a, it's, a, it's a cheap little plastic trap that we hang up. And inside the trap, we have one of these cards. And you'll see that this is a sticky card. It's actually covered with a whole lot of stuff. You can see there's a couple of moths that are still... Um, that are still alive, they were probably caught last night. Um, I've given this card a quick count and we're looking at 21 false codling moths. Now, these little dark guys here, these are the false codling moths and you can see that the color variation, you do get color variation. So this little brown one over here and this slightly gray one over here, there's another gray one further up here, here's another gray one. But these moths are about 10 millimeters long. Um, they can have nine life cycles. Um, depending on where you are in the country, there can be up to nine life cycles of these moths uh, in your garden. And what happens is the moth comes, these are all male moths. This is a, a male sex, a, a female sex pheromone. So these male moths were looking for the female and got, um, and got trapped. So what happens is the female moth goes to a fruit and it actually lays an egg in the fruit. And the moth grub will then actually burrow through the fruit once the moth grub is ready to exit um, the fruit it'll actually exit the fruit and spin a thread and drop all the way down to the ground and that little um, moth uh, grub becomes a pupa underground and uh, depending on what the temperatures are it can, it can actually be, be just a couple of weeks or they can over winter so right now it's late summer and this is the time for you to be catching false codling moths, to be trapping them to prevent next season's generation. Because next season's generation of false codling moths are busy being bred right now. Guys, that's it for the false codling moth trap. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them below. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Thank you very much.